Here comes Mika 6.8. She's a lovely 60 foot semi cruiser built by Aquiline in 2006. She'd been for sale down in Devizes, but that was the distance was causing a few problems. So um, we brought her back here to stow her wharf. She was last blacked in July 2021. Four anodes, satisfactory at survey. The paint works in lovely condition. She had a full repaint at Hill Morton in 2021. The cratch cover and pram hood were new in 2021, and I'll talk you through it as we go through the boat. But quite a quite a bit of the boat was refitted in 2021 as well. Have a quick walk down this way. You can see how nice the paintwork is. Loads of equipment on the top, including that ladder plank. 600 watts of solar on board. She's gas-free boat. Mika 6.8, by the way, is a passage from the Bible. And uh, the current owners are canal ministers. She's been so well looked after this boat. The well deck's lovely. Three foot ten. It's got an oak floor, which is very unusual, and a metal roof. Really beautiful padded seats either side. Glazed cratch board and the sides obviously roll up. Well, the water tank's under here. It's stainless steel, 600 litres, so that's a good size. Little shelf across the front for cups of tea or glasses of wine. Glazed front door. And the fit out's really lovely. Never seen an Aquiline disappoint yet. So it's into the saloon. Nine feet long, two super comfy armchairs. She's fitted out in American Light Ash. In 2021, there was a solid fuel stove where this chest of drawers is, but they took it out because the heating's so good. They didn't need it. Lights in the steps here, another typical Aquiline signature piece. Storage in that step. And over here's the television. It's a 24 inch smart TV DVD combo with a cupboard underneath. Shells next to that. Lovely radiators on board. Central heating is um, run by the Heritage Range. Now here's the dinette. It's, a, it's an American diner style and it's really clever because it's all freestanding so you can adjust the seats to whatever distance you want. You can even turn around that forward seat if you want to be chatting to people in the saloon. The galley is a very good size, 10 feet 4. These worktops are Trespa. The whole galley really, really was refitted in 2021. Trespa is both heat proof and scratch proof. There's the Aquiline pulley outed cupboardy things. Bank of three decent sized drawers here. The fridge is a 230 volt domestic sized larder fridge. The floor on the boat, by the way, is light American light ash in the front half of the boat, an anti slip vinyl in the bathroom, and an oak floor in the bedroom. Side hatch there in the galley, and one on the other side, which was brand new in 2021. Right, here's a real feature of the boat it's the heritage stove, two hot plates. It's got a full timer facility, it does the central heating, does the hot water, and it's fully programmable with a timer switch for both functions. Lots and lots of storage. There's lots of storage in this kitchen. A lot of boat here. The lights in the ceiling, by the way, can change colour just with a little remote control. And there are under gunnel lights here in the bathroom. The bathroom's a good size, seven feet long. It's a wet room style arrangement. Ceramic sink there. The loo itself is a sunny marine pump out. Macerator with a polypropylene waste tank. That was brand new in 2021. All the windows on the boat, by the way, are double glazed. There's the shower. And there's a drain across the bathroom where the water goes down and is pumped out. And the windows also just very easily removed. They're double glazed and very easily pull out in case you want a bit of air through the boat. Now this bed's ingenious. It's on rails, so it slides across. So at night when both of you are in bed, you can get out either side of the bed to go to the bathroom or whatever you do in the middle of the night and it just slides back in the morning and there is loads of storage under there drawers in the front but behind those the mattress just lifts up boards lift up and there's loads at the foot of the bed a decent size wardrobe there and the pump out tank i believe is behind this bottom bit 
that Billy can't open. Cupboards over. It's a lovely tongue and groove in here, diagonal tongue and groove. All the lighting's LED. Another wardrobe here. They do such a nice job, Aquiline. And under here, which is where they usually put them, is the washing machine. It's a candy aquamatic. More lights in the steps. There's a solar controller. There is an inverter on board. There's a Victron 3 kilowatt inverter, which is in here. All the electrics are super neat, as you would expect. There are 12 volt and USB points throughout the boat, as well as two 30 volt sockets. Lovely stern deck, six and a half feet long, bench seats across the back. And as I mentioned, this cratch covers, well, a pram hood is pretty new. The engine's in here, it's an Isuzu 42 with a hospital silence. So the hospital silence was new in May 2023. I didn't mention there's a diesel tank on the front deck, actually, 1,000 litres, which does the domestic supply. And it's a 300 litre tank for propulsion. There is a bow thruster, Vitas 55 kgf. And the batteries are in the engine room, six six volt Trojans which deliver 720 amp hours of domestics. There's one starter and there's a bow thruster battery as well. That's clever, that's a step, but it doubles up as a shoe rack. So if you're vertically challenged, you can put that down and stand to give you a bit more visibility. Really lovely boat this, beautiful home. Hot water on the boat is heated by the engine or the heritage range. There are two alternators on board, the domestic 80 amps each. The domestic was reconditioned in 2023. 230 volt on top of the inverter, there's a landline on board. It's worth mentioning that heritage range was new in 2021. And there's an absolute myriad of um, navigation equipment on board, including an anchor with rope and chain. So there we go. Stunning boat, in my opinion. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.